Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris with 7 Day Films, and today I'm going to show you how to clone yourself using Sony Vegas. It's a really easy effect to do. All you have to do is really know how to use masks for this effect. What you want to do is have your first video file on the first layer right here, and your second one on the second video track. Then, under the first one, go to Event, Pan, Slash, Crop, and it'll bring up the window. Go right down here and click Mask. Then you'll have these new options right here. Go over here to Anchor Creation Tool. And then just create a mask. Dividing the areas where you want your other clone to appear. See over here, now it's got both of me and the shot. But it's got this line down the middle. Don't know if you can really see it. The way we get rid of that is using the Feather Tool. Go over here to Feather Type. And click Both. Then under feather percent, mine will need to be about a 12 to get completely rid of it. See now you can't really see the line in the middle. Yours, the percentage you'll have to use will vary depending on your video scene. So then after you do that, just click the close button. Then you can play through your video. As you can see, I'm um, on the screen two times, and everything looks pretty smooth. That's really all there is for this effect. Now, depending on your background scene right here, it could be easy to do the effect, just like it was easy for me, or it could be hard. If you have like stuff moving in the background, it's going to be hard. So you want to make sure that your background is always a still image, if you can, or a still scene in the background and that there's not much going on because the more that's going on in the background the harder or harder can't even talk the harder it will be for you to do the feather and make everything blend together right anyway that's all for this tutorial i'll see you in the next one uh, you don't